body contains more than 650 individual muscles attached to the skeleton, which provides the pulling power for us to move around. The muscular system in our body is responsible for every external and internal movement, heat production, and stabilizes body position, especially when sitting and standing. There are three types of muscle tissues, skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, which is in the digestive system, and cardiac muscle, which is talking about the skeletal muscle. The skeletal muscle makes up 40% of an adult body weight. It is composed of skeletal tissue, nervous, blood, and other connective tissue. It is also called voluntary muscle. It is held in position by layers of dense connective tissue called fascia. Other connective tissues are epimesium, which surrounds the skeletal muscles, perimesium, which surrounds each muscle bundle, also known as the fascicle, and endomesium, which surrounds each muscle fiber, myofiber. The skeletal muscle is also made of several muscle fibers, such as cell membrane, the sarcolemma, the sarcoplasm, the sarcoplasmic reticulum, and myofibril, also known as myosin and actin. The skeletal muscle contracts in various ways. Neuromuscular junction, stimulus for contraction, excitation contraction coupling, sliding filament model, and muscle relax. Neuromuscular junction is the site where the axon of a neuron and a muscular fiber meet. Synapse is the site of functional connection. It's the space through which information can pass. Neurons communicate with the cells that they control by releasing chemicals called neurotransmitters. Normally, a skeletal muscle fiber contracts only upon stimulation by a motor neuron. The motor end plates are specialized portion of a muscle fiber membrane at a neuromuscular junction. It's where the nuclei and the mitochondria are bonded and the sarcolemma is extensively folded. All muscles respond to stimulus. This property is called excitability or irritability. The mechanical muscular action of shortening or thickening, also called contraction, is activated by a stimulus sent through the motor nerve. All muscles are linked to a nerve fibers that carry out messages from the central nervous system. Excitation contraction coupling is a term coined in 1952 to describe the physiological process of converting an electrical stimulus to a mechanical response. This process is fundamental to muscle physiology, whereby the electrical stimulus is usually an action potential and the mechanical response is contract. The sliding filament model of muscle action explains how the movement of thick and thin filaments relative to each other leads to the contraction and relaxation of whole muscles. When nerve impulses cease, Two events relax the muscle fiber. First, an enzyme called ACH rapidly decomposes any acetylcholine remaining in the synapse. This enzyme, present in the synapse and on the membranes of the motor end plate, prevents a single nerve impulse with continuously stimulating a muscle fiber. Second, when ACH breaks down, the stimulus to the sarcolemma and the membranes within the muscle fibers ceases. Cardiac muscle is a type of involuntary striated muscle found in the walls of the heart, especially in the myocardium. Its cells are known as cardiac myocytes or cardiomyocytes. The cells that comprise cardiac muscle are sometimes seen as the intermediate between these two types in terms of appearance, structure, metabolism, excitation coupling, and mechanism of contraction. Smooth muscle is non striated and involuntary muscle whose cells are spindle shaped with a single nucleus. Each cell contains thick and thin myofilaments but not arranged into sarcomeres. This permits the walls of hollow organs to stretch, up, stretch without increasing the tension within the cell.
I got a feeling that tonight's gonna 